Hey guys, welcome and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you a very easy and fun way to program and fly your Rise Tele drone using visual programming blocks. By simply using this app, you can drag and drop blocks to set up and fly missions. All right, so let's jump right into how you use this app. First, you turn it on your Tello drone, and then connect to the Tello Wi-Fi signal. And then we'll go ahead and launch the app. It's called Drone Blocks. Okay, and then we'll want to connect the app to the Tello drone. So just follow these steps shown on the screen. And then here's a mission that I've already have programmed. The first command is for the Tello drone to take off. The next command is to fly forward 20 inches. The next one fly backwards 20 inches. And then there's a loop. Uh, loop to flip forward two times. And then the last command is to land. To launch this mission, you select the menu option and then select launch mission. First command is a take off. Second command is a fly forward. Third command to fly backwards. Fourth is to flip forward two times. And then the final command is the land. You always want to make sure you have both the take off and land command in any kind of programming sequence. Now let's take a closer look at the commands. Here you could adjust the value. So in this case from 20 to 10 to fly forwards. You could change the units from inches to centimeters. If you touch and drag a block, you could delete it by just bringing it over to the trash can. Clicking the left box here, you'll have options for flipping. In this case, I'm flipping backwards. If you grab the top block, it'll take the whole set of blocks to move around and delete. Okay, you always want to start off with a takeoff block and then here's the various navigation blocks. Okay, I'm going to select the fly X, Y, and Z command and this specifies a specific point that you want to fly the drone to based on X, Y, Z coordinates. Okay, flip forward, flip left, loops here I'm going to have it flip right three times here's some other options which I'm not going to go into so you could just experiment with that on your own and the last command is always should be the land command if you touch and hold down on a block, it will give you additional options as shown on the screen. If you touch and hold down on an empty space on your workspace, you'll get additional options as well. All right, so some final notes here. Make sure you include both takeoff and land blocks. There aren't any camera commands, but they may be included in the app once the software development kit releases that functionality. If you want to switch back to your Tello app, then you would need to turn off your Tello drone, reconnect to Wi-Fi, and start the Tello app. The app does also support other DJI drones, but proceed with caution. My experience has been less than perfect. Finally, there are links in the description if you want to try out the MIT Scratch programming language. All right, guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Hopefully you'll have a lot of fun with this app I did. That's probably one of the reasons why I actually got the Tello drone. And of course I've got a lot of other videos coming up. So go ahead and subscribe if you like. And of course if you did actually like this video and you found it helpful, then always appreciate you hitting that like button. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Happy flying.